So this has been a really interesting call out. Not exactly sure what happened. She looks like she's not wearing pants. Hey guys, what is going on, Average Guy Gamer, and welcome back to another episode of LSPDFR. And as you can see, we are in a new vehicle. This is the Unmarked Crown Victoria. The lights on it look amazing. I love the light package, they look great. I have it all blues. There is an option of red and blue, but I prefer the blues, to be honest, just because, I guess because it's different. Um, you know, there's not a lot of car packs out there that have just all blues, and uh, a lot of, well, actually all my local and state law enforcement agencies in South Carolina and the place that I live, they use just all blues on law enforcement vehicles. So it's pretty cool. I like it. Um, I think it's pretty cool. It's a great looking car. I also have a Crown Victoria sound mod. So the engine has a different sound that it normally would for this vehicle. The startup sound, everything. It's, it's pretty cool. We have a driver under the influence. Okay, so we just here, got our first call out of the day. Um, it Bay. is a driver under the influence. We will go ahead and accept that since it's here in Polito. Uh, like I said, we are up here in Polito Bay. It's getting a little dark on us already. So, more than likely, it's going to be nighttime at some point during this patrol. And I think that's cool because, you know, a little bit of diversity, that's always a good thing. Um, but we will see here in just a moment if we can catch up to this guy. I'm guessing we have somebody following him or, you know, somebody gave us a description, something like that is the, is the reason that we know where he's at. I mean, obviously... It's going to give us the location here on the on the uh, on the mini map, but I'm trying to think of a logical reason why um, we might know exactly where they're at. So they're continuing just straight on this road. It's already considering it a pursuit. So let's try to go ahead and get some other units involved. We'll try to get a bike involved as well. So we do have one uh, other sheriff's office unit right up here ahead of us. He's going to be trying to catch up too. It's yeah, we're a little ways back. So we've got some catching up. They would make call in the helicopter. I'm going to try to conserve our resources as much as possible. Not call in, uh, you know, the entire department if I can avoid doing so. But of course, we do need to take this guy down. Wow, we are running other cars off the side of the road. And he just 10 50 with that truck back there. So uh, he's going to be he's gonna be back in the pursuit now. Uh, way back. Uh, so anyways, looks like we're catching up finally. Is he in this Jeep? Nope, that's a minivan. That is a minivan. Okay. Alright, so we finally are behind the guy. I'm going to throw the spotlight on him. Now let's go first person for a minute here. Why not? So as you can hear, you have that throaty V8 CVPI sound, engine sound. You can kind of hear it a little bit better back there in the, uh, in the tunnel. Alright, here are the units. Uh, he just wiped out again. That's great. Let's try for another state patrol unit on a and Sonora see what we get. Alright, let's see what he does. Okay, he's going to continue straight through this intersection. Oh, there is our state unit, and it is not a bike. It's another CVPI. I'm liking that white, though. Oh, man, I could have probably blocked them in. Let's turn the spotlight off. But we're just going to let this ride out. I'm going to try not to damage my vehicle too much. Bike unit, you could join if you wanted to, but I guess he has better things to do. Like playing Angry Birds on his phone back there. <laughs> Alright, but we do have a bike unit. I'm going to give uh, secondary to whoever comes up here if we do have another unit that decides to step in. I'll go ahead and hand it off to them. Uh, you can see my speed going up there in the top right, so we're going pretty fast rates of speeds. Uh, we're almost 90 miles an hour in the mid-80s. Uh, now we're back down to the 70, so he's sticking around 80 miles per hour. I'm going to try to pit him. Yeah, that was a good spot. Now is a very good time. Let's try for it. Oh, wow. That was interesting. Our vehicle, like, got hung on him. Oh, CVPI, what are you doing? Now you're going to die. <laughs> All right. There we go. Here we go. Come on, somebody, somebody back me up. Back me up. Let's get him. Let's get him right here. Can somebody please help me out here? Oh, he has a mask on. Get out of the car. Tased him. Good job. Good job. Let's watch the crossfire here. 
All right. And State has got him. Oh, never mind. He is hurt, and I just scared the Black Highway Patrol officer there. I'm sorry, dude. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get out of the car. Get out of the car, woman. What is your problem? I'm going to try to stop. There we go. Stop traffic. Until we can kind of contain the situation. Is he in his underwear? He is in his underwear. Wearing a mask and a shirt, but just underwear and a belt, it looks like. Fantastic. All right, so let's try to get Coroner out here now. We're going to need him. Um, let's see. Coroner service. We're also going to need a couple tow trucks. Oh, wow. Hey, Coroner. How's it going? Glad you guys can make it. All right, woman, you need to get out of the car. What? Just get out. Thank you. All right. So now let's try to get our tow trucks in here. I still do have the road blocked off, so I'm not sure if they're going to be able to come in here or not. Um, let's see. It looks like they're coming from this direction. There we are. Yeah, I'm going to have to unblock the area so that we can get the tow truck in here. But let's also keep it slow. 20 miles per hour so the traffic can go around. Alright, tow truck's going... Yeah, it looks like they're probably going to circle around. I can understand that. Um, but let's go ahead. We're going to call for a tow truck for the suspect's vehicle as well. I would like to better control the scene with traffic. But it's just not going to happen. I can go ahead and tell you that. So, let's call in the license plate while we're standing here waiting on the tow truck. Uh, it's a vehicle records check. It is 64 Delta Tango Victor 097. And let's see what we get on this vehicle. Uh, Kurt ba Batal Bataglia, I guess. Let's see what we get on him. Kurt Bertag Batag Bataglia, I suppose is how you pronounce that. Not exactly sure. Uh, we could go ahead and search the vehicle too. Let's do that. I'm not sure, but my request went through for the uh, for the search of the person through records, but um, it's whatever. All right, we're gonna search this side as well, and I'm not sure what our tow trucks are doing. It's like they just gave up on us. So I'm gonna give them a minute here and uh, and see if we can get this scene cleared up with the tow trucks. Not sure what they're doing. Here comes another one. Um, be nice if I could figure just, you know, go around or go through right here. I mean, there's a perfect opening where they could drive straight through, but they're not going to listen. The other tow truck's way down here. It looks like they finally figured it out, so we should be seeing them in it, uh, any moment now. So, yeah, I'm going to give them just a second. I'm not going to make you guys sit here and wait with me as things go crazy. But, uh, but yeah, we'll be right back as soon as we're on patrol and code four from this scene. Okay, so we just got to call a vehicle over here that's possibly transporting drugs. Uh, they were last seen in this area right over here. By the prison? Okay, we're going to just hop the bank right here. Hop the embankment and uh, try to catch up to them. It looks like they were last seen headed this way. And now they're back headed right towards uh, Route 68. Which, no, never mind, they're not. Let's go ahead and throw on the lights. I'm trying to go silent as we catch up to him here. Just to kind of have the element of surprise. Uh, but, you know, we'll see how it goes. Let's go ahead and cut our lights. And it looks like this is going to be one of... It's going to be... Attention. Oh, this I just ran that stop sign, but they caution. did too. Okay, so it's this Zentorno. Wow. This is going to be terrible if they try to run. Alright, but let's go ahead and blip them. And... I guess go and light them up. Let's go for it. Uh, yep, they are running. All right. Yeah, we definitely, we are definitely gonna need some backup. Yep, they are running. This is gonna be terrible if we can't keep up with them. We'll probably have to call in the chopper. Um. Oh, there was our bike unit. Okay. So they're going straight for Sandy Shores, and luckily we do have a PD right down here, our sheriff's office, I should say, and uh, and yeah, let's block him in, block him in. Nope, dude, stop, stop. 
Alright, we got him pinched between the civilian vehicle and our own. Nope, he's gonna sneak out somehow. Oh, somebody just threw out something back there, so I blipped it on the radar. Uh, it looked like some evidence. I'm not sure what it was. Maybe drugs. Probably drugs, since that's apparently what they're transporting. Uh, so this is... I forget the name of this mod. I believe it is Supercop or something like that. Um, mod will be, of course, down there in the description, as always. If it's not there when you're checking, if I just upload the video, it may take me, uh, I don't know, about a day to get the, the mod list updated since I just reinstalled GTA. But, you know, if you don't see it, then check back soon, and the mod list will be updated with the current mods. Wow, he is fast. Luckily, with that, that motorcycle is pretty quick itself. Um, did I call him Chopper? I don't think I did. I need to be watching for him to throw out evidence. That might be what he's trying to do. Wait a minute. He stopped him for this bike, which is good. Alright. Alright, let's hold him. Hold him. No. Alright. There we go. I have him pinched. I have him snagged. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Chop. Let's open up on him. Open up on him. Okay. Okay. We got them. Suspects are... Both of them are down. Looks like two Whiskey Foxtrots, uh, which is two white females. I uh, believe both of them are deceased. Wow. So the driver just got her and her passenger killed by trying to run over an officer. I don't think anybody was seriously hurt. What is this? Oh, that's a part of their car. That would be a fender that just despawned. Nice. Okay. Um, but yeah, so that, that was not good. Not good at all. I'm gonna try to close down this part of the road if I can. Dude on Sanchez. Go on. Okay. Alright, so we just placed some barriers up across the road here, just trying to stop people from coming straight through and destroying our crime scene. Alright. Um. Just go to the right. Roads mean nothing. <laughs> just go to the right. Roads mean nothing. Okay, very, very well. So, let's go ahead and call in our coroner. Man, we're keeping them busy tonight. I guess you could say that. We're going to need to go up here. The evidence was just right up the road. So, really, I would like to go ahead and get another unit up here. Attention all units. We've got an officer just so that I could go uh, secure that evidence. You guys need to get out of the car. Looks like we're gonna have to do this the car. I'm not going to ask you again. Get out of the car. Thank you. I said leave the car. What are you doing? Get out of the car. Get away from me, welfare car. trash. What? Units reporting a suspect Thank you. arrest in uh I'm not worried Shore. about it. Not worried about it. Okay, so we do have more units on scene now. It looks like a state patrol unit's here. And that is good because I'm gonna let them take over and clean up the scene. Okay, we also have the SO on scene. Uh some other deputies. So I think it's pretty safe for us to go ahead and clear off of this. And, uh, and clean it up a little bit. We're going to try to capture this evidence. Yep, this is it right here. Wow. Good, 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 good. So, let's just step out for a second. We're going to pick this up. Um. Hmm. Okay, so it's not wanting me to pick it up. Not sure what's going on here. Um. Okay, so let's just try, I, you know, I don't know why it's not letting me pick up my evidence unless the mod just crashed, but I'm going to try to end the call out by holding down zero. Okay, so yeah, our mod did crash. It's not letting me pick up this evidence. It's not letting me end the call out. I'm not sure exactly why. So we definitely had a couple good pursuits going for us, and I uh, hope you guys did enjoy. I wish that I could collect this evidence and show you guys the rest of this call out, which is actually taking the person to court. And it tells you exactly how it happened, um, like, you know, what the sentencing is. Uh, you say that you present your evidence. It tells you if you missed any evidence. You know, just a lot of cool stuff. He's wow. on fire, literally. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, you know, I, I wish that it would work and let me finish up this call out. But it looks like it's hung. I put my old man in the hospital. Oh, what are you doing? You idiot. You want to get shot? Oh, what is wrong with you? Are you kidding me? <laughs> wow. Yeah, you might want to stop. And now there's a dude over here on a Sanchez getting run over by the train. It's all good, though. It's all good. 
So this has been a really interesting call out. Not exactly sure what happened. She looks like she's not wearing pants. Um, <laughs> so thank you guys for checking this video out. Be sure to come back and check soon for the Q&A episode uh, that I will be doing here shortly. And yeah, I look forward to it. Look forward to talking to you guys in the comments as always. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Eyes on the target. Moving to engage. Target heading northbound.